so today is Tuesday and tonight is Bible study so I'm very excited about that I do a virtual Bible study on zoom with my closest friends and um, some amazing women and so I'm gonna get ready for that I'm gonna make a cup of coffee and then log on and um, show you a little clip of that and then I'll come back with what I learned this week and what I can work on and what can I um, improve on. Okay, so I just finished up with Bible study. Um, we are studying James chapter 3, and I'm so grateful for the group that gets together where we can be vulnerable and share and pray for others. This week we talked about um, taming our tongue, watching what we say, and asking ourselves, is it kind, is it true, and does it need to be said? And those are a few questions that like I want to get tattooed on me because they are so important in relationships and it's definitely something I've been working on, definitely something I've made mistakes on and can definitely polish and refine that and so I'm really excited for this chapter. I definitely want to work on that within myself and um, one thing that I like to keep in mind as I'm growing is that what we can say can either bring life to somebody or it can destroy something that has taken years to build like a relationship. So what we say is super important and um, that's what we talked about tonight. I feel really good. I'm going to go rest. I have work tomorrow and I'm just really grateful for the women that met up tonight. It was really great. And so these are some of Maria's beautiful plants and this is just like one that I'm loving so cute and the little fairy all right have a good night guys
Starbucks is gonna get started for you. It is Friday and I just love seeing these flowers when they go into and come out of where they're so pretty. The cutie sees me. Okay, let's see what he does when I get home. So I rearranged the craft room and this is my section and I moved these three circles where I hang my watercolor. I moved this love sign higher and then I rearranged my stuff on my side and that's a picture of my grandma and my dad. I can definitely feel her around me sometimes, like definitely on Mother's Day at church. That was intense. And this is my aloe vera plant. It's kind of struggling, but hopefully I'll figure out how to take care of them better. This is another one that came from that one, and I separated it into three pots, maybe four. And so they're just adjusting. And then I found this amazing fan at a thrift store. And these are my watercolor paintbrushes. And this is a gift from my friend Nicole. And this is a gift from Laura. It's so cute. And then I think I found these at a thrift store or an antique shop. And I have my journal under here. Still working on that. Some of them I bought and some of them I found in the dumpster at Half Price Books. And then, oh, Maria gave me this and then I found this to water my plants at a thrift store. this empty space to add new paintings so we'll see what we can put up there I have some down here that we'll figure out how to kind of arrange them here is the third plant that third aloe vera and this one's little bunch of little pieces that I put in here this is my um, tiny vase that I put flowers in usually just two and my siblings, and a cheetah, and another one of my um, 
paintings from a watercolor series. And this is a heart that Lars made me. He said he learned how to make hearts in school, so he made me this one. And I'm drying out some roses, and yeah. So that's what I worked on tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog and go to sleep. I plan to do a lot of self-care this weekend and I want to just do things that really make me feel good and um, this was a long week. I saw, okay, so to be really honest, I saw a lot of things within myself that I need to work on definitely two of them. Um, one is an old pattern that I didn't even realize I was doing again, but for me, once I have that clarity, then I'm like, oh, okay, like, I can really focus on making sure I don't do that. So this week, thanks to one of my friends and talking with her and sharing with her, I realized that I was doing, again, what I have done in the past, something that I wanted to change. So I'm going to work on that. And um, the second thing was I had a lot of negative thoughts this week. And I kept like having a thought and then I'd be like, dang, like that was really mean or intense or like why I can't believe you would say that like to myself. So um, I definitely want to do things to uplift my spirit this weekend and that will just put me in a better mindset. I want to be in a better mindset. And um, so reorganizing my space like I did tonight is definitely one way to do that. I opened up a lot of space so that we can create more art and we can hang up new things on the wall and keep it fresh. I have a lot of fun like playing with where to place stuff which direction your eye goes based on where things are placed and putting things that are fun and important and eye-catching in certain spaces that way when people come into the space they have really cool things to look at and that's what I like to do in the craft room and um, that's what I did tonight and doing stuff like that just makes the week better it makes the time spent in that space better and that's like some of the ways that I do self-care also keeping my space really clean and organized um, I really enjoy that so this weekend I'll be doing a lot of deep cleaning in my room so this week I'm gonna do a lot of self-care and hopefully next week I can go back refreshed for now I have clarity um, and self-awareness and that can do a whole lot of good so thank you so much for watching um, I appreciate the time that we spend together and I really enjoy making these videos throughout the week. It's been really fun for me and creative and helps to bring balance to like a work week kind of thing. I get to find moments to share and record that are touching to me and mean a lot to me. So I'm glad I get to share those with you guys and thank you so much for watching. Good night.